SQL isn't web scale. Why don't you use MongoDB? MongoDB is a web scale database. Look, maybe you've heard claims like this before, but let's talk about the real differences between SQL and NoSQL databases and look at some of the more popular technologies in both categories. So on the SQL side, we've got Postgres, big favorite of mine. You've probably also heard of MySQL and SQLite. There's SQL Server, which is Microsoft's product, and I'll also mention CockroachDB, which is a pretty cool distributed SQL database. Now, there are hundreds of SQL compatible databases out there, but these are probably just some of the ones you've heard of. Now, MongoDB is probably the most well-known example of a NoSQL database. In fact, some people even use the terms synonymously, which I think is a big mistake. You've probably also heard of Redis, maybe Elasticsearch. Uh, Firebase is another really popular one. It's more than just a database. It's kind of a backend as a service. And I'll also mention DynamoDB, which is Amazon's big data store. Now, the first thing you need to understand about the difference between a SQL database and a NoSQL database is that SQL databases tend to be much more similar to each other. They're grouped together in this category because they all have something in common. They all use structured query language to be queried. But NoSQL databases, really the only thing that they have in common is that they don't use SQL. So they're all very different, and frankly, they're not even built necessarily to solve the same types of problems. For example, if I asked a candidate in a backend interview, hey, would you use Postgres or MySQL to build this CRUD app? And they said, either would work just fine, that would make sense. But if I asked a candidate if we should use Redis or DynamoDB for our caching layer, and they said, ah, it doesn't really matter, then there's no way they're making it to the next round. Now, SQL databases tend to be more general purpose. Now, that's not always true, but at the end of the day, a SQL database is just a database that supports SQL. So you can have a more specialized SQL database, but most of the popular SQL databases are good for general purpose starting points for web applications. One exception might be SQLite, which is built for small use cases where you want to embed the database directly inside your application. And NoSQL databases, on the other hand, they tend to be very specialized. NoSQL databases are usually built for a specific purpose that a general purpose SQL database doesn't handle as well. Again, one exception is probably MongoDB, which is a fairly general purpose database. It just happens to not use SQL. For example, Redis is mainly used for caching in-memory data for super low latency access. It's common for web apps to use Redis together with a SQL database, and they use Redis as sort of this caching layer. Elasticsearch is another example of a very specifically designed NoSQL database. It's designed for dynamic search and aggregations. It powers things like the eBay search bar. It handles fuzzy text matching and ranking of results. 